Uh, head on down the hook, yeah. yeah. There's wheelies on the front. Uh, head on down the hook, yeah. yeah. There's wheelies on the front. Come on, uh, the dino with the black mag, black mag. Dino with the black mag, black mag, black mag. Dino with the pedal down the hook. Yeah. Never let anyone tell you no. Find another way in. I think the worst thing you can do to me is put me on a beach with no Wi Fi. That's like. <laughs> because I'm just like. And I was the art director for, for Raucous, so I got first hand access to be able to design albums for like. Black Star and Common. How many of you like wake up and look at your clock and like just hate your life? <laughs> I know that feeling. You know, you look at your clock and you're just like FML. <laughs> when I first first started out and just graduated, I was looking on Craigslist for work for sure for design and stuff, and that's horrible. But at least I'll help you pay the rent. You have to keep producing your own work, personal work, and working with these new clients and staying alert. This will help you build your client base. And for whatever reason, the teacher was like, no, you can't sell screen on t-shirts. And I was like, why? Like, I'm paying tuition. And they're just like, you just can't. And I hate it when people say, you just can't. Like, give me an effing reason why, and I will listen. The last song on the B side, they signed this guy named Eminem, who like no one ever heard of back then. You know, So they, they had a real knack for like spotting talent. After class, we would leave the windows unlocked in the silkscreen lab, and at night, we would break into the silkscreen lab with t-shirts and just start our own sweatshop factory. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with reaching out to people, but when you reach out to people, you have to, again, make sure that you're being professional, you have a solid portfolio. The only reason why I worked part-time jobs when I was young was to finance my addiction for sneakers. Uh, I started to design the Fader magazine, and I designed the first like 23 issues of the Fader magazine. And back then, there was no such thing as like all these cool sneakers you guys have on. You know, like limited edition sneakers, there was no such thing. And I approached the editors and the, and the publishers and I said, I want to do an article about Nike Japan. This was the, the next day's paper. Um, where it was the first time a Nike shoe had ever been on the front page of the New York City newspaper. Now they go for around $2,500 on eBay. Um, and yeah, I play ball on that. I play basketball on that. To say that is like, you know, again, going to that last point, I believe that the reason why this project came out so well is because I firmly have a passion for this. And, it, and that authenticity came through in the shoe, it came through in the release, it came through in those kids that are waiting in line for four hours, four days even. Because you can use Photoshop and Illustrator, sometimes people will hire you for something and you're just like completely useless. You're not even like a creative person in there. You're just a robot and they're just like, oh, move this here, can you move this there? And when I designed the pigeon thing, right, I thought it was just a New York thing. I didn't know that pigeons lived other places. So <laughs> I designed it like it was a New York City thing because that was the brief from Nike. And then when it came out, like I'd be in Barcelona, I'd be in London. Venice, Tokyo, everyone's like, ah, oh, you made vision thing for my city. I'm like, nah, that's for my city. And we have visions here too. I was like, oh, okay. And then I soon realized that. Allow people to interact with your work. There's many different ways that you can have people interact with your work, but I know a lot of artists, I've met a lot of really talented artists and designers that are not capable of showcasing their work. It's, I think it's really important to, to have your work out there for people to see. And Reefface is a retail lifestyle store. We sell books, magazines, our own clothing line, um, our works, other people's works, footwear, bags, jewelry, everything. But there's nothing quite like walking into a space and smelling and feeling and touching and you know, like just music. Everything is happening with you, like 360 degrees. Back in 2002 when I opened Reed Space, I thought opening a retail store would be a great way because people can actually walk in and and I still think this way that like people can walk in and really experience the whole space.